As I was going over the Cork and Kerry mountains, I met with Captain Farrell and his money. He was kind. I first produced my pistol and then produced my rapier. Stand and deliver, for you are a bold deceiver. I said, Ooh, I'm a do, I'm a da. Wait for the daddy, oh. Wait for the daddy, oh. There's whiskey in the jar. Ah, our old boat, what a beauty. She's still ours, and she looks even better than this. Done so much work to her. 1966 Pearson Triton, what a great seaworthy boat. Milford, Connecticut, what a beautiful harbor. One of the most beautiful harbors, I bet. Walking distance to downtown, five minutes to the nearest bar. Restaurants everywhere. Engine modifications, we increased the output of the electrical system with a custom system. And then it was time to sail out. We left Milford. Left Dock A at the uh, Milford Boat Works. Back to OK out, which is no easy task, especially if there's a north wind blowing. She's a sloop. Great little sailing boat. A few stops along the way, we ended up at Hell's Gate. Timed it perfectly, and we'll tell you how we did that on another episode. Went back up by the apartment, docked at, uh, in uh, Weehawken. Then we headed for the Verrazano Bridge and down the Jersey coast. And we had a surprise ending in Atlantic City. We'll tell you all about that when we do the episode teaching you how to sail through New York and Hell's Gate and make the best of it. What a great sail. It's daunting, though. It's a, it's a lot of boat traffic. Here we are leaving Connecticut. These are the uh, oyster boats here. They've revived their oyster business, and the oyster business is going crazy there. Build, rebuilding all the oyster beds. You know, oyster farming is a thing. It's farming. They seed the beds, and they work the beds, and the uh, they have leases on parts of the bottom of the uh, New England, Long Island Sound. Oh, yeah. Got to start early if you're going to get to your next port, and that's what we did. I always love the sound of the fizz of the water as it goes along the side of the hull and out past the stern. Always had a good current running in the sound. The sound is quite an interesting body of water. And there's a lot of water flow through it. So there's currents, unexpected currents. Just ran with the uh, iPad with uh, blue charts from Garmin. Great system. The only problem is if the sun is on your iPad too much, you can uh, overheat it and it shuts off on you. Not a problem at night though. It's when you really need her. So the weather turned a little darker and a little rougher and went through some storms and some pretty good seaways coming through Throg's Neck and, uh, and down towards Hell's Gate. But the timing was good. And we kept it simple and uh, try not to get flustered. there I guess but you know what are you gonna do I'm sure I'll tack soon so the monitor self-steering system got one of the oldest ones still in operation restored it unbelievable system genius never get tired of looking at it working and most important piece of equipment on the boat I think we'll be taking it with us to the next boat feels bad to pull it off the hook hey but we can't just buy a new one. It's big money, and we're never going to find one this good and restored in any amount of time that's going to work for us because we're, we're on a time crunch. We've got to make it happen. Here we are at the uh, Weehawken, Lincoln Harbor. It's the most rolly, uncomfortable marina in the history of the world. It's shut down now. It was a long day coming through Hell's Gate. I had that 1,000-yard stare, God bless me. 
you could walk the docks at this marina and just see the damage on the boats from colliding with the docks and these crazy wakes from all the high-speed ferries and just yanking and tugging it was brutal took a day off and then headed out of the city down the Hudson it's pretty amazing to see the city from the water from your own boat after all these years of living and working in New York still have that same iPad works like a champ lower Manhattan there monitors doing its job even motor sailing it worked Great sailing man, I imagine. Never sailed there though. Statue of Liberty. If you ever take the uh, New York City subway, you can get a free ride on the Staten Island Ferry and back. No charge. I forget what they charge for the subway right now, but uh, it's only a few bucks. Definitely worth it. I think they can sell beer on there too, so not that that matters. I gave them the uh, right away, even though technically it was mine since I was under sale. But you know, I don't want the commuters to be late like, getting back to Staten Island. So trying to go downwind here, not easy. This is some crazy wind coming through here, and you're going to see a lot more interesting stuff. And we're going to really get crazy when we start going south. So thanks for watching. If you like, comment. And please subscribe. We're a new channel and we need to get one subscription and then two subscriptions. And we look forward to seeing you on the next show. Sailing Liberty.